What is going on everybody? Today I am going to be doing a tutorial for how to paint Apocalypse Battlefield Presence Vader. Now, a lot of people have been painting Vader for Star Wars Legion, but the problem is almost all of those Vaders look the same. This one's going to be a little bit different. We're going to do a couple of things to kind of uh, enhance his battlefield presence because I think the way your commander looks on the battlefield if they look intimidating, they're more likely to, you know, basically scare your opponent into making a mistake. So I want this Vader, I don't want, first off, his cape shouldn't be down. So we're going to do some hot water stuff. We're going to adjust his pose and kind of modify him just a little bit to make him look more threatening because he looks like he's trying to shake your hand right now. Uh, and then we're also going to do, we're going to change it up. We're just not going to go with just straight black. We're going to do a little bit of subtleties with the blacks in order to, uh, in order to bring out the detail in his costume and I think we're gonna have one of the best looking Vaders that you've ever seen so definitely watch this video we're gonna do some really cool stuff we're gonna also do his base we're gonna do everything to really make him look good we're gonna do the lightsaber glow uh, and it's just gonna be like a different one than you've seen before so first off let's do some hot water All right so we got some water it's kind of boiling close to boiling we'll turn that burner off we're gonna stick Vader's cape in here first Get it nice and soft. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bend that sucker back. He needs to stay in there longer. We'll let that thing... We'll just get it nice and nice and hot. Oh, it's, it's, it's going back now. It's going... See, it's, it's, it's getting there. Woo! Hands are hot, hot. I should get some tweezers. This is... We're just getting it nice. that dry like this. Now we're going to do his arms. There we go. Got his arm raised like he's going to strike. So now after bending the arms I'm able to push them a little closer together like he's holding the lightsaber right there all right so the arms didn't actually stay together uh like i had hoped but that's okay we're gonna put something in his hand instead so he's holding something so it's not like he's just saying come over here so i can cut you down we got ourselves a new pose i got that cape flowing in the wind it's looking really good so far i stuck him in some white sticky stuff and we're gonna do some chaos black on him and we're going to get him in nice and black. Just to start. We're not going to leave him in black. Because you could just say, oh, well, that's Darth Vader. He's done. But that's so boring. We've got to do crazy cool stuff with him. So we're going to let him dry. Come back in a few minutes. All right. So now that he's dried, we are going to uh, start off by doing something to bring out the black. So one of the things, if you ever read old Spawn comic books... Um, they, you know, you have a hard time showing black in comic books because it's just, it looks all black and, uh, you know, and, and it's hard to tell black on black. And so, you know, they, what the things they used to accentuate the black was blue. So I'm going to start off with, uh, Citadel Calgar blue, and we're going to just, we're going to layer him in this. We're going to layer him in this nice and good and get a, a good, I knew I want this a little wetter than that though. I want this almost like a wash, but just a really... Thin. It doesn't have to cover everything, and we we're going to get the lightsaber. That's okay. And I want it all over him. I want him super blue because then we're going to come back and we can build upon. We're going to build upon this blue with different shades that are going to show through, like the reflection. Uh, and 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 this is going to make basically the blacks stand out. And that's the problem with so many of the Vader paint jobs that are out there right now is it's just black and maybe like some of the better ones have some grays, but I mean, that's just, you know, we've got to do, we got to bring out the fear and the contrast and the detail. And this may not look much like, much like, like, like much like, what am I trying to say? This may not look like much right now, but once this settles, it's going to be phenomenal. You are going to see the presence of this Vader. All right, so now that this is mostly dry, we're going to, I'm just gonna take the top part off because we don't want 
the cape to get this. So one of the things, I want the cape to be different. I want the cape to really stand out. But in order to, you know, kind of sync up with the blue but give it a different tone, you want the cloth of the material to stand out. You don't want everything, and that's what a lot of people are doing, is they're just um, making everything kind of the same. And I want the cloth to stand out. So what we're gonna do is, similar to the blue, and similar to that same effect, is we're gonna do all of this in, and this is a, a, a Gene Steeler Purple. Now Gene Steeler is a great name for Vader because he's gonna basically, instead of just stealing the genes of all these Jedis, he's actually just gonna kill them and, and then their genes won't be able to continue. So it's, it's basically, you know, he's exterminating the line of Jedi. So it's actually very appropriate. Uh, and we want all of his his clothes, but not his cape, to to have this purple, um, this purple hue. That's and we are and 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 we are going to put black on here, but this is all going to help it pop. This is all going to help it pop. So the blue here is going to contrast against the blue on the cape, just to help them help them look different. If you can see. It's going to start to take shape very soon. We're going to do the lightsaber. Probably will be one of the last things we do. All right. This is a little wet, so we need to let this dry a little bit before we do our next coat. And the thing is, I didn't put this on too thick because we do want it uh, a little bit thin to get into the grooves. Okay. Now, the cape is going to actually have a reflective quality to it. So we're going to go over this with some Flash Glitz Yellow. And one of the reasons for the flash glitz yellow is so that basically the light is catching it. And we want this to really stand out from the rest of the armor. It's, it's, it's going to make such a profound impact. The brighter you make it, the more the light's going to catch it. Um, also, the more it's going to distract the enemy. Um, they're, so they're more likely to not stay at the right distance because Vader's trying to get into close range. Don't forget. Uh, and so he... He wants to get close enough to them to be able to attack, especially when you play you know, his command cards. You want him to be able to take advantage of them. Uh, he, you want him to be able to dodge, reflect damage back at those enemies. And the best way to make sure that he's doing that is you know, basically to distract your opponent. Um, by having the, a formidable presence on the field, you're going to have that, that, that effect. Now, the next part also, we've got to hit some of the shoulder details. I'm going to be using uh, Cyberite Green, and this is going to help. You know, there's silver parts um, on his mantle here, and we're going to try to get those um, just to show up with a distinction. And and we're just we're gonna we're gonna add some extra ones too because we're not we're not gonna stay within the lines because that's kind of what the enemy would expect, you know. We're even gonna have them kind of go onto his shoulders a little bit, in his shoulder pads. There we go. And this should also be the same color as his gloves um, and his boots as well, because they're going to. No, and, and, and no, I know what you're thinking. This isn't looking right yet. It's not looking right yet, but it's all going to come together once the wash goes on, and then it's all going to start to take shape. So we want all those boots and, and gloves to look like that, too. All right, so now we're going with uh, Troll Slayer Orange because he basically does slay all the trolls um, with this sword. And, and this is just going to help you know, the red light shine through. You don't want, you know, you don't want to just go red because that's what everybody's doing. And, and you don't want to, you don't want to just do that. So there we go. Now, now it's all going to take effect once the wash goes on. We've got, and then we can do some more highlighting uh, and then and kind of touch ups and then we can add the detail. Uh, but we're going to put the wash on first, which will kind of make the whole thing come together and it's going to make everything pop. Okay, so now that everything's had a chance to dry, we're going to do our wash. I'm going to put my Nuln oil on here and I'm gonna smother it in this stuff. I'm gonna put it on nice and thick. Now normally I would water down. I don't want that brush. That brush is no good. Let's use let's use let's use this brush instead. This is a nice thick brush. Normally I would um, water down my washes but this one because we want it all black. All right and now already you can see it coming together. Oh wait this is no oil. This is Drakenhof Nightshade. Well I wonder how that'll change things. That might 
have an adverse impact on my plan. But you can see it's starting to pop already. It's still dark. And this is going to seep down into the cape to make the cape dark. The cape's practically black already. And, but it's going to shine in those highlights. We may have to come back with a little dry brush and just bring in some of the little tips. We might even do gold just to really, really intimidate. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, so this is going to have to dry for a while, but once this dries, um, some of the colors on it will adjust a little bit, and then we're going to go from there with some of the dry brushing. Uh, well, we'll do the detailing first. Well, we'll do no, we'll do the dry brush first, and then we'll do some detailing. Okay, so we've let it dry for a little while. Now we're seeing a lot of the different effects kind of dry and take hold. Um, but after you do a wash, I, 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 like I always like to put a dry brush on. So now we're going to kind of lightly go over the top. There we go. I'm showing some of the lighting, right? Some of that lighting from that lightsaber. Okay, I'm not going to hit the cloak with that because I'm going to come back with the cloak with gold. There we go. But that's that's what we call um, devastation incarnate right there. There's no way the rebels are going to be able to stand up to that. So now we're going to come back and we'll do some gold over the over the cloak. So we're using uh, Auric Armor Gold. And this one is like, like we're getting such a great effect off of this. It's going to be shimmering. Really kind of showing you the the opulence um, that that Darth Vader refused when he took up you know the fight against the Iron Throne. So where am I getting things mixed up? Either way, this is that's that's just amazing. And he's flowing in the wind. Sorry about bumping that there. We'll put a little bit of that on the saber too, just a little. Make it glisten. And there we go. So now the next step is to just come back and, and, and get some some highlights on some of the the little tiny pieces. I gotta take my glasses off for this one. So we're gonna come in and just get some of the buttons. And you know everybody uses like the same color scheme that's actually on the real Darth Vader, but like you know, he doesn't always have the same configuration. Like, what, he needs those colors to be, like, bleeping that, you know, that particular pattern when when he's at rest. But when he is on the battlefield, like, and, and, and he's completely in dominance mode, you've never seen those colors before. So that's why we're going with different different colors for that kind of emulate the glow of, of his, uh, of his force resuscitation, reforcitation. Um... It's like like when he slayed a clay, a crate dragon with his bare hands and founded a city called Vader Town. Is that James Town? Either way, Firefly's coming back, guys. You gotta they're they're, they're doing it. Nathan Nathan Fillion is on that show on ABC. And ABC is owned by whom? Fox. Give him that red belt buckle. And and his eyes have to be red too because he has that red glow in his eyes. Now, I will admit that this did not go exactly the way I wanted to. Like, the the main complaint I have is there's twofold. First off, uh, I, it was the wrong wash. If this was null oil, it would have looked completely different. Um, and and also, like when I set the arms uh, to be holding the saber together, they should have stayed together. They they did not. So that's kind of a problem. So one of the things um, I'm gonna do is I have, uh, you know, a little. We're gonna do a little modding to this guy, and I'm putting a lot of extra um, light effects on his saber here. There we go. All right, and we're gonna do a little modding because he's gonna have something in his hand here, 
and we're gonna give him uh, we're gonna give him this porg uh, to hold in his hand, and that's basically like he's telling everybody we better watch out because I just like I, I I've got a I got a porg and I know how to use it, you know. There we go. So Vader is now like holding the porg by the head, and he's like, "Take one step closer," and the porg gets it. You know, so that's pretty intimidating. You know, now we gotta also we gotta work on his base, too. All right, so here I've got his base right here. Now the pr only problem is that's the same exact base that the regular stormtroopers have, and this Vader has got to, imp you know, he's got to scare them. So what I did is I picked up a, a pack of Reaper bones. Uh, bases here, and we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna give him a I mean some people are using clear bases, right? So we're gonna give him a bigger base, and 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 what we're gonna do is we're gonna set him on that base like so, um, and and I think that's really gonna help. So let's let's put some a little bit of glue on his feet. Oh, this is air coming. It's coming out. All right. There we go. And you gotta have to hold him down for just a minute there. And we're gonna let that dry. All right, so now we have Vader on his new base. Um, I think we're really gonna impress a lot of opponents that way. Um, and one, you know, there's two really cool things about a base this size. The first one is, you know, you can, you can get that off of there. But you can put extra things on the base. So if you wanted to put terrain or whatever, but like me, I'm thinking like I can put explosions, kind of demonstrating you know, how how awesome this, you know, dominance Vader is. We can even put like a, you know, a lightning storm right there. Vader doesn't care. Like this Vader does not care. Uh, and you can, you could glue all these things to the va uh, to the base. Um, I almost said to the vase, right? It's not a vase. Um, but, but there's, there's another benefit. So the first advantage, I want to talk about movement. So here I've just got a regular, you know, Rex impersonator stormtrooper here at speed two, you know, he can go that far, which is pretty good, you know, good for him. That's his move. Um, this guy, all right, we've got, oh, we've got our speeder here. Wow, he's stuck in there. They made these things really tight. So he can go this far. So he's definitely faster, you know, especially speed. But Vader's weakness has always been his speed, right? But now, Vader, starting back here, starting the same place as all of them, he is now faster than a speeder bike. And he has charge. Also, like, he's, like, way faster than a speeder. Look at that. Look how much faster. Like, he's faster than a trooper at speed two if the trooper moves twice. Maybe even three times. Well, all right, three times. Yeah, but a trooper can move three times. Vader can move. And Vader can move again. You know, all right, I'm going off of my little painting board here. All right. Vader can move again. And that's, I mean, that's, we're already, we're almost off the table. So you can move, like, almost all the way across the table on one turn with this Vader. So this is just a way, you know, demonstrating the customizability of, of Legion and, and, and the opulent um, mega, mega Star Destroyer Vader that, that you can do. And look, 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 you've got the lightsaber glow. Um, it's a little bent, too, like Dooku, where he's showing, um, you know, what happens with the water. That Porg is not happy too. Like that Porg is frowny. Um, and then the, the gold of the cloak is just gonna scare everybody away. And you can do all kinds of stuff with these bases. Um, you can do, you know, you can put more stuff on here if you want. But I, I think it's pretty cool. Let me know what you think, guys. Make sure you um, check out the date for when this video is posted as well, because that's gonna be important uh, when you're figuring out stuff um, for what your next move is going to be. Um, but also, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, there is still time to enter the next giveaway, so all you have to do to do that is to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. It's as simple as that. Uh, and then you can win an expansion of your choice in the form of a $20 Cool Stuff gift card. So that's always good stuff. So thank you guys again so much for watching, uh, and have a great day. Hit subscribe, watch these other videos, watch this one and this one, and don't forget to subscribe. Do the Vader dance, carry a Porg, do the Vader dance, Porg, 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 do the Vader dance.